welcome to Elegantly Knotted. Happy New Year. Here is a wrap up for December 2020. Can you believe it's over already? This year went slowly but fast, but happy to be in New Year. Let's hope it's better than last. Anyway, so I put over the one thing I did do that took up most of the month was completing a wall art. It was a gingerbread house and that, that took a while for me to do, um, but it came out fairly good. It was a little bit bumpy, but when my dad came around for Christmas day, he liked it so much he took it with him. So I don't have it to be to show. My intention last month was to try and complete some unfinished bracelets. So this is one of, apart from the wall art, this was another one. A little bit of a Christmassy theme with the red and green. And it's a crisscross and I'll put the pattern numbers as well over the top. So, this was using that button closure and I left a gap for a buttonhole instead of having a loop. So this basically was done by missing off stitches and basically you have edges within the bracelet itself and that ends up with being a nice neat buttonhole. So I think buttons are so much easier to fasten and unfasten than ties are so I think and I bought a whole pack of buttons as well so I think a lot of my bracelets will be um, buttons and not ties but probably I'll do loops as opposed to the gaps because I don't like this ending here too much although you'll have to have it and also I started this with a flat edge as well so it looks good the next one I did was this one, and this was a new one. <laughs> I started it, and I actually have recorded a video for this one. I was hoping to edit it before the wrap up, but I didn't get around to it, so it was quite a long video. So watch out for that one. And this is explaining the uh, the buttonhole, how I created it. Again, it's a button, it's a nice shaped edge, and also it's a uneven number of colors. And so I showed you how to tackle that. So watch out for that. And then the next one, yeah, was this. Love this pattern. It was so quick and easy to make, simple to make. I changed the colors from the original pattern because you know I love purple and the blue really went well with it. So, and also I used my hobby lace thread which is quite thin so it's the first time i've used it doubled up and it comes out so nice and thick so i'm going to use that going forward i still have a lot of old threads if you look at my organizing threads video you can see how much i still have to use up and that hasn't gone down so much but i'm loving this combination of colors and using the thread doubled it makes it really good and again, I've got my button closure with the loop end. And because I didn't know how much to cut, I cut much to excess. And so I had a lot of thread left over. So I made two keychains with the excess. For this pattern, I'll put over top, but for this pattern, it also required another color, which is yellow. So I added that to it. And because I had so much yellow left over as well, but I had finished off the purple for that point. I just did a, a short one. I'm not happy with this end. I should have made it like this one, but I cut it off too soon, so I couldn't really tidy that up. But again, these are nice keychains. Loving the look. And then my last keychain, which is for my sister's birthday. She hasn't got it yet, so it's a belated present now. But she loves bumblebees, because she supports Man United, and that's their mascot. And that's football or soccer. And yeah, so I do this two in one pattern. So the background is from one pattern, which was just a, a honeycomb type um, look. And then this bee, I looked at so many ones with these on and I didn't really like the shape of them. So I found this one and I uh, 
use that B instead. So you can just about make out the honeycomb. Maybe the colors I could have used a bit darker. But. And I tried this ending. So the way that you end it is slightly different. So for example, for this one, I just did a shaped end. This one was tying it flat but it's the way that you pick the threads to make it look flat, because I've tried that before and it never worked very well. And although it worked okay, it's not really centered, so I need to perfect that. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, liking this, that's what it looks like from the back. So anyway, those are my bracelets for December not that many <laughs> again plus one seven I think that's my lowest count but I'm happy with them uh, this month I start a new job finally after six months so it's likely that my bracelet making time will be cut short but um, I'll still be making them, so I should have something for next month. And I've got two video ideas coming up. So that one, the first one is just concentrating on how I do the buttonhole. And then also, and my other idea is to do a temperature bracelet. I've seen similar temperature blankets done in the crochet scene. So I thought that was a good idea to start that. So I plan to do that as well. So watch this space. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe and I'll see you next time for another one. Take care, bye.